The next effect on my list is vignette. Adding vignettes is a great way to add emphasis to a video, especially when you need to highlight a specific object or person in the shot. When the edges of the frame are dark, the viewer's attention gets naturally directed to the center of the shot, where all the action is. It's like the theater, basically with the light focusing on the main actor and everything around plunged into semi-darkness. Vignette helps to create the additional depth, making the shots a bit more complicated and thus more interesting to look at. This is especially effective when you need to tell a story without saying anything using only visuals. A video with vignetted corners almost always looks more sophisticated and I seriously urge you to use this trick in your videos. It's a popular effect on YouTube, though newbies often forget about it. The vignetting can can be either very strong or barely noticeable, depending on the effect you want to achieve. Let's take a video with a surfer from earlier, for example. So the surfer finally manages to catch the wave and is now on top of it. The corners start getting darker and the viewer automatically focuses on him and his movements on the light reflections on the water. Now this shot is much more impactful than it was before. But don't think that vignette effect works only in dynamic scenes. It can also be pretty effective in more static or calmer shots. For example, when the surfer just sits on the board waiting for the right wave. I know by now you're pretty tired of the same surfer example, but I think showing all the effects on one video really emphasizes the multitude of options you have. In our case, the vignette emphasizes the calm moments of a person's self-reflection and some sort of unity with nature. Vignette is a very versatile effect that works great in all types of videos. You just have to know how to use it. And to know this, you need to practice with the clear question in mind. Where do I want to focus the viewer's attention? 